God, who is rich in mercy and love, gives us a new birth into a living hope through the sacrament of baptism. By water and word, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. We are united with all the baptized in the one body of Christ, anointed with the gift of the Holy Spirit and joined in God's mission for the life of the world. Called by the Holy Spirit, trusting in the grace and love of God, do you desire to have Jacob baptized into Christ? Parents, if you say, we do. As you bring Jacob to receive the gift of baptism, you are entrusted with responsibilities. To live with him among God's faithful people, to bring him to the Word of God and the Holy Supper, teach him the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments, place in his hands the Holy Scriptures, and nurture him in faith and prayer, so that he may learn to trust God, proclaim Christ through word and deed, care for others and the world God made, and work for justice and peace. Do you, parents, promise to help Jacob grow in the Christian faith and life? If so, say we. And now, sponsors, do you promise to nurture Jacob in the Christian faith as you are empowered by God's Spirit, and to help him live in the covenant of baptism and in communion with the church? If so, say, we do. And now, people of God, do you promise to support Jacob and pray for him in this new life in Christ? All right, then let us all rise as we're able and profess together. We begin with promises made by these parents and sponsors, and your, uh, I'll give you an answer, but it's by or else. Right? I ask you to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, reject sin, and confess the faith of the church. Do you renounce the devil and all the forces that defy God? If so, say, I renounce them. I renounce them. Do you renounce all the powers of this world that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all the ways of sin that draw you from God? And now, all people of God, do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen! <laughs> the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks to God. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters. Behind you here. Sorry, I didn't get the waters. Oh, right, man, talk about the spirit. Moved over the waters. And by your word, you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood, you delivered Noah and his family. And through the sea, you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By the baptism of Jesus' death and resurrection, you set us free from the power of sin and death and raised us up to live in you. Pour out your Holy Spirit, the power of your living word, that those who are washed in the waters of baptism may be given new life. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. I don't think I've ever seen such enthusiasm. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Uh, we're going to turn you around so we can get your head this way. You see, it's some water for Jacob, Benjamin, and Lucy. I baptize you in the name of God. 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that through the water and the Holy Spirit, you give your daughters and sons new birth, cleanse them from sin, and raise them to eternal life. Sustain Jacob with the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Jacob, child of God, you are sealed by the Holy Spirit and marked by the cross of Christ forever. Amen. Thank you. 